We're here in front of Mansion House on the Governor's Academy campus. I'm here with Dr. Quimby. Dr. Quimby has a great history here. First he was a student and then he was a trustee when he was over at Princeton and Yale. And then he came back and is now on his fourth year at his Headmaster at Governor's Academy. So probably no one has a better view of the school than you do. How would you describe the goals of Govs and what makes it so special? Happy to talk about it, and thank you for having me, Will. I think it's great thank that you're doing you this show, here. and I'm, I wish you well in your episodes this fall. Thank you. Um, you know, a lot of um, high schools are focused on the work that happens in the classroom, um, and one of the things that we do at Governors is work hard to make sure that we're preparing students not just for the work that they're doing in college, but so that they can have successful lives uh, after college. We want them to be able to think about how they are um, contributing to a world that's much larger than themselves and we want to make sure that students are prepared to give back once they once they leave school. So Govs has a great reputation academically but how would you describe the competitive athletics here too? Well, this school has a long tradition of an athletic program that's an important part of the education that we offer. So when I said a minute ago that we believe that education is an important part of what happens uh, outside the classroom, athletics play an important role in that. I think if you were to ask your, your parents or folks who've been out of college for a while what they remember about their time in high school and in college, chances are a lot of the lessons that they'll point to um, aren't lessons that they learned sitting in a classroom. Mm -hmm. They're going to be things that they learned from friends. They're going to be things that they learned when they tried something new and it didn't work. And they had to figure out then how to come at it again and move forward. And so if you think about your own experience in athletics, um, imagine how much more you get out of being in a situation where you know, you've worked hard for something and it didn't work and how you learn how to be resilient and bounce back from that. Um, the lessons you learn about working together with others to achieve a common goal. A lot of the lessons that are really important in life are lessons that we can learn through athletics. Um, so there's that element of you know sort of how you develop important aspects of, of character and what it means to be um, a member of a team. Um, but then it's also great for a school um, to be able to get behind um, classmates who are doing things that are really positive and exciting. And that happens in other areas. It happens in the arts um, and when we have kids on stage, but it certainly happens on the athletic field. And, and you know, if we you know, look at the football season coming ahead, it's pretty awesome that we've got a team that's won all of its games but one in the last three years. Um, and that's good for a school, it's good for morale, it's good for the school spirit. Um, so it's, it's an exciting part of our school's tradition. Now, a little on athletics. I haven't seen it myself, but I heard you have a field hockey stick in your office <laughs> that you're uh, pretty proud of. How about you tell us a little bit about that? It's true. Uh, when I was at Princeton, I was the faculty director of athletics, which meant that I was in some way connected to really all of our athletic programs. Um, and it struck me that the best way to really connect with student athletes um, was to be to be paired with teams. And I'm a huge hockey fan, so I was the athletic fellow for um, the faculty fellow for the men's ice hockey team. Um, but then I thought I should um, get to know a women's team as well, and so I picked field hockey, a sport about which I knew nothing. Um, and they took me in, and I traveled on the road with them, and they gave me a stick so that when they were warming up before games, I could uh, shag uh, stray balls and <laughs> help keep warm-ups organized, and it was an incredible experience. Now, you've had a long history here. You've seen school years come and go. What do you think the school year is gonna be like this year? Well, you know, one of the exciting things about being in a school like this is you never know what a year is gonna be like. Um, you know, we start the year with um, you know, 300 students who've been here before and have some idea of what to expect, mm -hmm. and 100 students who, you know, don't know what Govs is going to be like. And so, um, you know, integrating a whole new class of students into the academy and, you know, letting the year 
take on a life of its own is one of the most exciting things about working with young people. You know, it's, it's one of the reasons that teachers can stay involved in education for so long. Is no, no two years are the same. Mm. All right. Well, Dr. Crumby, I'd like to thank you again for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you.